This is how to cut the perfect lawn. Uh, we're going to start by setting the height on the mower, which we'll see Stuart is doing now. What you want to try and look for is the bottom of the deck is just taking off a third of the grass, no more than a third of the grass at any one time, or you'll damage it. So the height has been set now. We want to check that the blades are sharp. Do you want to do that for us, Stuart? Always tip the mower towards the oil sump side, otherwise it will fill the carburetor with oil and you'll have problems then. That's fine, yeah? We're now going to check the lawn for obstacles, which may damage the blades or the mower. And now we're ready to start the lawn mower up. You will notice that we're actually going to cut around the edge of the perimeter of the lawn. And then we're going to cut it on the longest axes. So there's less turns and it takes not as much time. You want to get right up to the edge, making sure that you're leaving a good amount to scrim on the edge. If your mower has a roller, you'll notice that it stripes the lawn and leaves a nicer finish. You want to make sure that the wheel of the mower is just overlapping the last strip that you have just cut and therefore you'll get no bits that you've missed or are sticking up that you'll have to strim after as you can notice you're starting to see in the stripes now on the lawn and as you can see directly in front of me we're slightly overlapping with the wheel to make sure every inch of the grass is cut As you can see, that's a perfectly cut lawn and ready for edging with the shears.